Hi, in this lesson, we'll be seeing how to configure the eBusiness Suite instance in the virtual machine, which has been created by using VM appliance. So, in the previous lesson, we have created the virtual machine using the VM appliance that has been downloaded from eDelivery.org.com. In this lesson, first thing what we'll do is we'll start the virtual machine and then we'll set the passwords for root, oracle and apprimjar users. And once that is done, it will automatically configure the whole instance. Once the EBS instance has been configured, we'll change the static IP. We'll change the IP which is DHCP by default to the static IP. Then we'll start the services and finally verify whether eBusiness Suite is running successfully or not. So the activity guide which you have to follow for this lesson is this one. So first we'll start the virtual machine. Let us start it. So this is my virtual machine. I'm clicking on start. So here when it prompts for the localhost login, you have to give it as root. Immediately it will ask you for the new password of root. So provide any password. Then you have to give the password for Oracle user. Then APPLMGR. Remember that both the application tire and the database tire are owned by Oracle user. Though it is prompting for the APPLMGR user, Oracle is the user which is which owns both the file systems. You do not need to do anything here. It will automatically restart the network. It will configure one of the DHCP IPs and it will configure, it will run the auto config on database and also the application tire. It will configure everything in the EBS instance automatically. So all the scripts are now complete. When it prompts you for this specific message, enter vision for configuring the vision demo instance, enter none to log into the VM. When you, if you want to start the Oracle Vision Suite instance along with the boot of the operating system, then you have to provide it as vision. Otherwise, if you want to start the services manually, then you can use none. So in my case, I'm going to use none because I want to start and stop the services myself. But if you want to automatically start the services along with the root, uh, along with the boot of the operating system and you want to stop the EBS services automatically when you want to stop the VM. In that case, you want to, you'll have to give here vision. I'll be giving as none. Done. So the next important thing what you have to do here is First run the hostname command to verify whether the hostname has been changed to apps or not. Yes, that is correct. So the next thing what I'll do is to update the static IP. So this is all complete now. So here what you have to do is you go to etc sysconfig network scripts and here you can see your see your Ethernet configuration file. So I'm going to go to cd etc sysconfig if CFG network scripts so that is a file so I'm going to go to scripts here first I'll take a backup of this file underscore back so now let us try to open the file So here, what you have to do is to make the changes as per the guide what is shown to you. So these are the changes what you have to do here. So let me change all these values. So I have modified all the file, all the required details here. Remember that this specific IP address first ensure that this is not currently occupied or used already. So I'm going to go to command prompt. And I'll be running ping 
168 0.165 so is that what i've given 165 so it is not pinging so which means that specific ip address is free and also check your current ip address since i'm using bridge network remember always that you have to use the same values like default gateway as you can see here subnet mask and the ip address format verify all these details before you give the values in your network configuration file save it and also in etc host you update the same value here i am going to change this one to 165 save it now restart the vm So enter the root username and the password and log in. So first ping apps and you can see that the IP is pinging perfectly fine. So there is no issue there and also give host name. You can see it's apps which is fine. So now let us try to start the services. So I'll go to Oracle and go to U01 install and you can see something called scripts. Sorry here. We have to go to apps and then scripts. So this is the path u01 install app scripts. So here what I'll do, you can see there are services here start db.sh, start apps.sh and similarly stop db.sh and stop apps.sh. As you know the sequence of starting, first you have to always start the database followed by applications. So I'm going to start it. sh start db dot sh. Since we are currently working with the 19C database, it will first start the CDB. So the database has been successfully started now. So the next thing what I'll do is to start the applications as well. So the services have been started successfully enough. So what I'll do now is to first ping if this IP is reachable or not. And also I'll keep the entry of this in the host file. So first let us ping it 192.168.0.165. It's good. It's working. So now what I'll do, I'll go to notepad. I'll open as administrator and I'll try to open this file, open the host file. So let's go to PC, C drive, Windows, System32 and uh, drivers, etc and you should be able to see the host file now. So I've got no entries right now. I'm going to simply keep 182.168.0.165 and apps.example.com and apps. Done. Save it. So now what I'll do is I'll try to ping apps.example.com. Yes, it's working fine. So the next thing what you have to do before you access your e-business suite is you entered the host file here. You have to enable the sysadmin ID. So to enable the sysadmin ID, what you have to do is very simple. Let me show that for you. You already have the scripts in one location here. Let me show that, sorry. Here. So there is something called uh, enable sysadmin.sh. Just run that one and give the new password of sysadmin.
then verify the log file always so it is saying that fndc pass completed successfully so looks good now what i'll do is i'll try to open the internet explorer i'm sorry i'll use the chrome so let us run it now apps.example.com colon 8000 looks perfect now run it as a sysadmin give the give the password which you have just set now so as you can see here we have successfully logged into our clips in a suite so this completes the whole installation process using vim appliance and we have now successfully configured the ebusiness suite vision instance 12.2.10 and it comes with database 19c